Good, Wendy. Now add the ketchup, mustard, and hot sauce. Ketchup, mustard, and hot sauce? Are you sure, Dungan? I've never heard these ingredients being used for making donuts. Are you sure this is in the donut cookbook? Well, I'm not exactly sure, but I do know the donut man will be really, really surprised. Okay, if you think it's a good idea. Our customers are going to be really surprised too. A brand new donut flavor. We could call it Duncan's Surprise. We'll probably be very rich and very famous and have our own cooking show. Hey, Duncan, Wendy, it's really early. Doesn't your mom have chores for you to do? Well, she doesn't exactly know I'm here. Besides, Duncan needs my help inventing his new donut flavor. A new donut flavor? Uh, didn't you two use the Masterpiece Donut Cookbook? We had a better idea. Oh. We're calling it Duncan's Surprise. It'll make me famous among the great chefs of the world. <laughs> and I already put it on the menu. And we learn about love with our masterpiece donut machine. With stories, friends, and donuts, the best you've ever seen. Masterpiece donut, masterpiece donut, masterpiece donut shop. Where our fun has just begun. Morning. 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 <laughs> hey, Father Joe. What do you know? Just got back from a vaudeville show. <laughs> Good morning. I thought you came from next door at St. Patrick's. <laughs> I did. That's just a silly old greeting between two old friends, right, Mr. Donut Man? <laughs> That's right, Father Joe. Say anything new on the menu. Why, yes, there is. Wendy and I invented a new flavor. See, Father? Duncan's surprise. I'd like to try one. Yeah, Happy come show. on, try yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> come on. Duncan's surprise. Yeah, that looks good. There you go. Wow. <laughs> that looks mm. kind of orangey, doesn't it? Hey, I know. Let's all taste it at the same okay. time. One, two. two not so sure about this. Three. three. Wow. What is it, Duncan? It's really, really good. Are you surprised? Well, from the color of it, I, I, I thought it would be orange flavored. Or pumpkin. Remove the veil from our secret ingredients, Wendy. Ta-da! Aren't you surprised? You put ketchup, mustard, and hot sauce in our masterpiece donut recipe? So you're not surprised? I thought we might be getting into trouble. Well, it's a good thing we caught this before we sold it to all of our customers and advertised. We might have gone out of business. We should close the Masterpiece Donut Shop right away until we figure this out. But they were such pretty colors, weren't they, Wendy? Pretty colors doesn't always make something taste better. Does too. Does, Does not. not. Oh. May I suggest the mass might help you understand the best way to make your recipe better? The mass? We're listening. Go ahead, Father Joe. Have you ever noticed at mass that we carry the book of the gospel up over our head? It's like a Bible parade. 
Well, you could say that. Then when the word of the Lord is read, the reader says, the word of the Lord, right? Right. Mm -hmm. yes. Then what does everyone say? Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Look, the masterpiece machine is lighting up. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form or shape, with darkness over the abyss, and a mighty wind sweeping over the waters. The word of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. That is like a parade. We play music, we carry the gospel, we sit it on the ambo, and we incense it. Look kids, it's how we show respect and reverence to the sacred scriptures. Hey, let's sing about it with our very own Bible parade. Yeah! We are not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power to save all who believe. So lift your Bible. You like the Bible. You like the Bible. If you read it and you do it. Read it. Read it and you do it. Do it. You like the Bible. You like the Bible. If you read it and you do it. If you read it and you do it. to try my new flavor? It's called Duncan's Surprise. No! Oh, no, 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 no. I guess not. <laughs> I will give a free box of donuts to anyone who can tell me what God used to make everything out of nothing. Who knows the answer? Did he use his hands? No. Did he use his thoughts? Close. Here's a hint. It's something you hear at Matt's. Father Joe? <laughs> no, no, no. I know the answer, though. It is something we hear at every Mass. It's very creative, and it teaches us right from wrong. Is it the Word of the Lord? Very good. God used His Word to create everything in heaven and on earth. Come on, everybody. Help me tell the story. Tornado as the wild wind blows. <laughs> I can count from one to eleven D two. Eleven D. Eleven D one. Eleven D two. I can carry a 
all the animals in the zoo. A bear? <laughs> Can you? No way. Now, I'm just kidding, but it's no joke. God made the earth when he spoke. La, 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 when God 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 spoke. I can lift my house and make it spin. And spin. And spin. Wow. I can balance a watermelon on my chin. can tickle a shark and make him laugh. <laughs> Does he bite? I can feed a lollipop to a tall giraffe. Ooh, need a dagger. Yum! That's really hard. Now, I'm just kidding, but it's no joke. God made the heavens when he spoke. La, 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 when God 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 spoke. I can grow an apple right out of my ear. Ooh. Did you hear? Ouch. Wow. I can teach an alligator how to cheer. Raw, raw. Raw, raw. Go. Go, cheer. I can run much faster than a dog on a bike. I fly a kite. Higher. Whoa. That's right. Higher. Now, I'm just kidding, but it's no joke. God made everything when he spoke. La, 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 la when God spoke. La, 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 when God spoke. 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 During the Mass, can anyone tell me what book we read from after the first reading? Do you hold up two fingers when you read it? Uh, uh, no, but I could hold up my palms because it sounds a lot like... Hands! It sounds like hands! No. I'm jealous. Psalms! Look, the responsorial psalms! Hey. We have a song about that. <laughs> we sure do. And we could use our palms to clap with. Come on, let's praise the Lord.
praise you, Lord, with the hands you make. I could clap for you all day. I could clap for you all day. I could clap for you all day. I could clap for you all day, yeah. I could clap for you all day. Father Joe, I know what comes after the first reading and song. You do? The second reading. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Does anyone know what the second reading teaches? How to stay awake. <laughs> Tyler, if you knew what the second reading teaches, you'd never fall asleep during Mass. Right. Doesn't the second reading give us practical ways that we can please God and obey Him? I like the Bible because I read it and I do it. Do it! Yay! <laughs> Duncan, are you okay? Oh, look! A reading from a letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise that it may go well with you and that you may have a long life on earth. You see, the second reading gives us practical advice from the Word of God. It does indeed. Children, obey your parents, for it is pleasing to the Lord. Shall we sing about it? I think we shall. <laughs> Something you can practice when you're riding in the car, sit still. Sit still. When your mom says go to bed, say I will. I will. When it's time to clean your room, you must pick up your toys. Remember that obedience brings joy. Oh, be, be, why obey your mom and dad? It when you listen, when mom and dad say, Tell the truth, don't lie. Don't lie. When they say you've had enough, don't cry. Don't cry. Because when you do the things you should, you'll find out it's true. Obedience is very good for you. Wendy, what's wrong? Uh, didn't you like the last song? It reminded me of what I did wrong. Ooh. I didn't obey my mom today. Mm. She asked me to clean up the house and look after my little brother, but I snuck out because I didn't want to do it. Oh. Now I don't know what to do. <laughs> well, I think you know what to do. So do I. Mm. I think I need to go home and apologize to my mom, but yes. you need me here. We do, but... Your relationship with your mom is far more important than anything we do here. And if you don't take care of that, it won't grow. Then I'm going to go home and apologize to my mom right now. You do that, we'll be fine. All right. 
and and I'll be praying for you. God bless you. <laughs> yes, okay. sir. Bye, Mr. Donut Man. Gospel. 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 It's time to water Gospel. our mustard seed cups. That's the part where the priest or deacon go to the ambo to read the gospel. Why do we all have to stand? To show respect for the gospel. And for the fact that Father Joe is reading to us and teaching us in the very person of Jesus Christ. They found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astounded at his understanding and his answers. Jesus really loved being taught about God. Humbly. And so do we. This is the part of the Mass where I get to explain what we just read. What would you say about this story? Hmm. Well, I guess would say something like this. In the same way that young Jesus hungered to hear the Word of God in the temple, we hunger to hear the Word of God in Mass. That's right. The same way that we use a good cookbook to help us make good donuts, we use the Holy Scriptures to help us live a good and holy life. You mean nobody likes my ketchup, mustard, and hot sauce donut? No! Duncan, you should have used the recipe from the Masterpiece Donut Recipe book. Look, the Masterpiece machine is showing us Wendy helping her mother. Three cheers for Wendy. Hip, hip, hooray! Hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! It would not be turning out this way if Wendy did not believe in Holy Scripture. She heard about obeying her mom and dad, huh? I read it and I do it. I read it and I do it. Wendy believed God. This might be a good time to, well, talk about the creed. On Sundays, the Liturgy of the Word ends with the creed. That's about halfway through the Mass. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God. The creed is important to the Mass. It summarizes for us what we do believe. Hey, don't we have a song called I Believe? It teaches us how Abraham, the father of our faith, believed God and how much God honored him for his faith. Look, the creed said, I believe, over and over again. <laughs> so does our song. Let's do it. You've got a father of your faith who can teach you all about God's ways. When God told him of his plan, here's what happened to old Abraham. Someday you will be a dad And Abraham said, I believe Look down and count all the sand you see I believe, I believe That's how many children of yours there will be And Abraham said, I believe Oh, I believe that God loves me, yes I believe I believe, and all of his blessings I will see, like Abraham, I believe, I believe, I believe. God said to old Abraham, don't be sad, I believe, I believe. I promise someday you will be a dad. And Abraham 
said, I believe. Look up and count all the stars you see. I believe, I believe. That's how many children of yours there will be. And Abraham said, I believe. day at the Masterpiece Donut Shop. <laughs> hey, gather around everybody, come on. Tell me what you learned today. I watered the seeds to remember that in the beginning God made the heavens and the dirt. It's Earth, Duncan. Heavens and the Earth. That's what I said. The heavens and the dirt. God made everything with His Word. And He helps us to obey Him. It makes us a better team and He blesses us. And today we visited some of my favorite parts of the Mass. Thanks, Masterpiece Machine. You're welcome. Hey, look. Oh. Wendy's back. How did it go? Well, I apologized to my mom. And then I helped her unload the groceries. And then I pushed my little brother on the swing. <laughs> and then my mom said I could come back here to help you all clean up. O-B-E-Y, obey your mom and dad. I'm glad you obeyed your mom, Wendy, and came back because I've got an idea for a new donut flavor. Oh. I'm gonna call it Dog Food Delight. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Dog Food Delight? We could expand our sales demographic by appealing to the canine population of the surrounding parish. Oh, oh no. Duncan! Duncan. We all know, in God's peace we are all. 